Let's get into the big stories of the week with my panel, Sky News contributor Kosha Garda and Emily Dye from the Centre for Independent Studies. Welcome to you both. Well, the defining image of the week has been Donald Trump's mugshot released after being booked in a Georgia jail. Kosha, we've seen every scandal that has been managed to be uh, put together involving Trump, Trump only improve his polling numbers. Is this situation going to be any different? I do not think so, Amanda. I think, you know, the, the way to look at this is to just step back and kind of think about the whole landscape. The reason why we're in this situation right now is there's a large swath of the American electorate that for 30 or 40 years has felt increasingly disenfranchised for many, many reasons. Along comes Trump, a complete outsider, and tries to give voice to those folks and wins. He was met with opposition, the likes of which has never before been seen. And they view this as something bigger than just normal presidential politics and the candidate Trump anymore. But it's about fighting back against that opposition when you go from protests to impeachments to now these indictments. And I think each time that you see this, as you point out, you're just going to see uh, supporters of him and opposers of him galvanize more and more. And the real question will just be how far that opposition is going to go. Will they let him run? And if he runs, how much of his supporters are going to turn out? Because the U.S. election is about turnout since we don't have mandatory voting. That's ultimately how the story is going to end. And I think it's just going to get much, much more heated. So buckle up because this is just uh, the beginning of a very long cycle ahead. It does seem as though the more people try and take him down, the more it reinforces his narrative about the need to have an outsider and to, as he says, drain the swamp.